We visited Chamonix, France for two weeks, and these are the top activities you don't want to miss. Let's get into it. Gorge de la Diosa. This is located about a 20 minute train ride from Chamonix Village. Okay, you guys, it is a beautiful day here in the French Alps. Like, look at this view. It is so nice. The sun is out. It's 16 degrees right now Celsius. I'm so excited for this hike. It is approximately two kilometers long and is only open in the summer months between July and September. During the winter, the path becomes too dangerous and the water levels are very high. However, if you are visiting in the summer, be sure to check out this hike as you finish with wonderful views of waterfalls and caves. Mer de Glass. Good morning, guys. So today we're doing a big train ride around the Montebert's Mer de Glace. Okay, we're gonna be going through the French Alps, taking a train, looking at the beautiful scenery of the mountains. And then we're gonna be going up into a cable car and looking at the ice caves. Very excited for that. The railway was the first custom built attraction in the village and started operating in 1908. The railway departs from Chamonix and gets to an altitude of 1,913 meters. At the top, there is a cafe and a restaurant with some spectacular views and lots of food choices. Okay, so now we've gotten off the cable car and we're about to go take 500 steps to get to the ice cave. As you can see, a safe path, 500 steps, will lead you to the ice cave. So here we go. Okay, so as you can see, the glacier used to be here in 1990, but now it's way down there. It's crazy how much it has melted in the past 30 years. Mer de Glace is the largest glacier in France at 7 kilometers long and 200 meters deep and is one of the biggest attractions in Chamonix village. Okay, we are about to enter the cave, the ice cave. Here we go. The ice cave has to be dug out every summer since the glacier moves 70 meters every year. Once inside the cave, you will see some carefully sculpted ice sculptures. Guys, if you like a little bit of history and a little bit of adventure and a little bit of a workout, this is definitely the activity you should do in Chamonix. It was incredible, the views were amazing, we got a great workout, and you learned a lot about the history of the glacier. Be sure to also check out the Glaciorium, which is a museum that features entire exhibits dedicated to glaciology, how the glaciers form, and how they will change in the future. Aguido Midi. Good morning, guys. It is currently four degrees here in Chamonix Village. Today we are going to La Guide de Midi, which means that we're going right to the top of that mountain. The base height of the mountain is 1,030 meters. That's where we are right now. And then we're going to go to the very top, and it is 3,842 meters. So this gondola takes 30 minutes to get up there. 30 minutes to come back down plus the time that it takes to explore up there so it could be anywhere from you know 30 minutes to a few hours the total length of this gondola is 5093 meters 
and the total drop is 322 meters. This is certainly an experience you don't want to miss. The views from the top are breathtaking at an altitude of 3,842 meters. So here we are at the peak of the mountain and if you like heights, this is definitely for you. Just beware that because of the altitude, you are going to feel a little bit lightheaded because the oxygen up here is not as dense. So you are going to feel a little bit lightheaded, but the views are incredible, spectacular, and it's 100% worth it. Part of being up so high with the altitude, you can get something called hypoxia and it actually makes you lose your appetite. So we're just enjoying a cup of coffee. Well, Sean's enjoying a cup of coffee. I'm just enjoying holding the cup of coffee because my hands are cold. And uh, then we're gonna head back down soon. And there's actually two sections in the to take the gondola up. There's the first section, which brings you to the restaurant. And then there's the second section that brings you up to the top of the mountain, which we are at right now. This is an extremely popular attraction with nearly half a million visitors per year. It is open all year round, except for annual maintenance in November and extreme weather conditions. E-bike rental. All right, you guys, so the next thing we're doing on our list in Chamonix is biking through the trails into the mountains. You can do regular bikes, you can do e-bikes, and we have rented e-bikes from a company called Intersport, but there are many, many companies in the village that you can rent from. This is just one of the main ones that we were recommended. And let me tell you, an e-bike is probably your best bet because there are definitely some hills and it helps to have a bit of an extra boost. Okay, so we are pausing here to have a break. We're making some sandwiches, freshly made bread from yesterday. Okay, we've got some prosciutto or salami. That'll be yummy. And then I put some cucumbers and lettuce in here for a lovely sandwich. It's been, we've been biking for about 60 minutes now, going in and out of the trails, onto the road. Um, there's easy, medium, and difficult. Um, I am an inexperienced mountain biker, so we are taking the more easy trails. However, we have gotten caught in some of the more difficult trails, and with our e-bikes, it's actually a lot easier to Go through those trails because it just gives you that boost so again like i recommended get those e-bikes because it makes it a lot easier and you're still burning calories you're still getting a great workout la charlanon hike today we're going for a hike we've already had to hike up a 20 minute paved road so we're already pretty tired but now we're about to start our hike as you can see right behind me Le Brevent, that is the gondola that takes you up to the top of the mountain. There are many gondolas in the French Alps, but this is just one of them. It's actually closed right now, so we're not going to take that up. But if you can see behind me, there's a sign that shows five hikes, okay? So we are going to take the Petite Balcon Sud, which is just one of the hikes. It's a smaller hike. It's about two hours. Um, we're not super big hikers, so two hours is good enough for us, but there's plenty of different hikes from easy to difficult to extreme to overnight hikes. Um, yeah, the sky is the limit there. During your hike, you will see some great views of the mountains. We chose to hike on the opposite side of Mont Blanc so we could get a good view of it when we got to the top. Thank you for watching. If you found this video useful, make sure to check out our Bali Luxury Villa video. And as always, if you enjoyed our content, make sure to smash that like and subscribe button.